Unknown Thought is made possible through the generosity of sponsors who care about people. IC Savings Bank, Ready Honda, and Corey's Clothiers. Welcome back to another episode of Unknown Thought. My guest today is author, actress, actor, mother, Diane Flax. Diane, you're a Toronto institution. I know it sounds old, but really anyone who knows the art scene in Toronto has come across you in some form or another. You've been involved in a lot of interesting and creative work. Tell me about uh, how you got into acting. Mm. I think it was one of those classic things of being a kid and not finding my way in. And uh, did a, I did a speech contest at Associated Hebrew Day School, <laughs> and everybody laughed. And I suddenly realized, oh, I get it. That's what I can do. And then I just started taking classes at Leopoldson's Theatre School. And uh, I realized that it was a, 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 a I didn't have any background in it. I had nobody who did it, but I just realized there was something about performing and communicating with an audience that was right for me. It's so interesting because I, I remember seeing a performance of yours, I guess it was in workshop just before it went big. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember seeing this intensity and I, I, I know that you have a strong Jewish identity and female identity and I'm thinking to myself, how does someone actually get up there and give so much of themselves and still consider it acting? Well, there's a lot of drugs, a lot of steroids, and, and, <laughs> and uh, drugs involved some performance enhancement, really. No, it's coffee. No, coffee. it's, it's it, you know, it, there's something about being on stage where you put out this energy. Sometimes I'm doing a show and I think, this is not a very physical show, but by the end, I am exhausted. And it's a great kind of exhaustion. And there's an ability to put a focused energy out on stage that I don't do in life. And in life, I can just be a little bit more <laughs> laid back and, and, and slow moving. But when you're on stage and that audience is watching you and really there, they're giving you a huge amount of energy. And you just almost naturally give it back. You know, like when you're talking with somebody and they start talking louder or they're, you know, a Jewish conversation right. and everybody right. exactly. and we're all doing yes, and don't we exactly. Yeah. So that's kind of what happens on stage. They give you, you give back. What was your first role, like professional role? <laughs> well, does kids theater count? Yeah, okay, so I did a show called Health Spell, a show about health. And we toured Ontario, and uh, it was my first equity, which is the actor's union role. And, uh, and it was a ridiculous, because we're in our early 20s, and we're touring, and we're talking about health. Don't smoke, and don't drink, and we're just, we're just smoking and drinking. <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> sad, but don't do it. <laughs> Bernstein Bears. <laughs> and what has been your favorite role? Oh, that's hard. I, I tell you one thing that I was really... Uh, surprised how much I loved was doing playing Titania in Midsummer Night Dream. I've done it twice. I did it once re when I was much too young. I was early 20s, and then before, just before I had my my son, so about seven years ago, eight years ago, and I I thought I was doing it. It was an all female Midsummer Night Dream. It was at Pass Mariah. It was this in, this incredible slate of actresses wh of whom I was so intimidated. I thought I was going to play Puck, you know, who's kind of the goof and the trickster and the. Nah. And they cast me as Titania, who's the, kind of the queen. And I thought, this is, I'm going to be exposed now. But it, it was great that she's, um, uh, it was a very moving and difficult uh, show. Uh, and I got to fight with a broadsword. So that was fun. Mm, no pun intended. <laughs> now, did it harken back for a second to associated getting up and doing that first little thing and suddenly realizing that people see you a certain way? Like, do you see yourself more as Tatiana now yeah. than you would as Puck? Yeah, I do. You know, having kids does that to you once you get... I think the only thing that could have made me grow up was having kids. And that's when you feel, I feel, now I earned it. I earned being a sort of adult woman with gravitas because, you know, you go through whatever you have to go through when you're a mother. And you wrote a book about it. Tell me about the book. Well, the book is called Bear With Me, and I did a solo show version based on it. And a lot of what the book is about is how uh, the things that they don't tell you about becoming a parent, the, 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 the sort of thin line between joy and absolute terror, uh, the great love, and the, the tremendous uh, worry that you start to feel. And I, I, was, I thought I dealt with all that stuff. You know, it's a sort of legacy, the Jewish mother gene, as my mother calls it, of worry or anxiety. Uh, don't put something in your mouth that will give you a ringworm, this kind of thing. But I, uh, once I had my first son, instantly, don't touch that. Did you wash your hands? You know, and, uh, and I was surprised by myself. So. so the transition from life being acting to the reality of existence, mm -hmm. children, family. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the challenges you face with family. I think every 
uh, actor or performer, well, probably every professional person, in fact, would say, once you have kids, everything changes. And I thought, when people would say that to me, I used to think, wow, you must not have much of a career if your whole life is about kids. But it sort of <laughs> happens. You don't mean it. I didn't want to be insufferable talking about my children all the time, but they are so cute that I must. But, and Charmed. smart. Oh, and gorgeous. But uh, it, it, it really did, my career sort of took a completely different turn. I, I had been sort of on this TV track in a lot of ways and started writing more. Which I think, you know, it's like anything in life. You, you, what, I, what I appreciate, I think, from my Jewish education is the understanding that, you know, you're, whatever choices you make in life, they're your choices. And there's no, you know, God isn't a puppet master saying, I will take the DVP. I won't take the DVP. You know, it's like you make your choices and whatever falls out from that, you're going to learn from it or you're not. God, I, does God only have one accent? Because it would be great if yeah. it changes. Yeah. God is Oprah. God is Oprah. Uh, I, I fully agree with the puppet master concept as not real and making those choices. So are you making different choices now? Can you take on different roles? Is your career shifting? I, are you, I don't are you know. I haven't come through. I'm not on the other side yet. Okay. Yeah. How old are your children? They're uh, three and seven. So and seven. I'm really not... You know, I'm still in the middle of it. I don't know, but uh, but I, I I know that it's uh, it's changed. And uh, what do you have planned? What are you thinking of? What's what's percolating in there for what's next? I'm actually writing a book. Which actually, should I be saying this because I haven't okay. finished? It. Where's so? something? Uh, and it is it is about a. F it's a very Jewishy book. It's a lot. It's about a Jewish family, and it's also taking a lot of the biblical stories that I studied and revisioning them and just re-examining them in a, in a sort of through a feminist lens, but also just through a lens of family. What are the family dynamics in these stories? What great lessons and harm can we, can we learn from these stories? You know, so, so much of the conflict, the, the, the Isaac and Ishmael in the Bible, and you see it played out and you just go, what are we supposed to get from this? Does this, what should we feel about it? And I think that's, there's a family, a modern family, and then these biblical stories that go through. I love that. I, I'm, def that's I'm obsessed by it. I, 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 I am too. Yeah. I mean, th this for me is the entire focus of Genesis is the rise of humanity. The, the, the question I want to ask you is much like that Tatiana associated mm -hmm. conversation. Was there a role that not changed you professionally or gave you an awareness, but also gave you an awareness of your inner person did you do something on stage and suddenly you realize, I am that person, I, I'm acting out what I really am? And you know, it's interesting, I've written a lot of solo shows, and before I wrote Bear With Me, there was nothing that was, that was my life story, mm -hmm. um, but it was always personal. So my second solo show was called By a Thread, it was about an artist who couldn't paint because she was sort of stuck in a trauma, in a childhood abuse trauma. And I have not experienced it, thank God, but it really made me uh, grapple with fear, the things that hold you back. So everything that I do, I tr it, it usually, if I'm going to do it, it has to have some personal relevance for me because it's too hard. It's too much work otherwise, right? right? right. I just did a play called Yichud, yes. yes, which was about, set in the Orthodox Jewish community. It was very provocative for me. I am not, uh, generally had not been a fan <laughs> of, of the Orthodox Jewish community. As a feminist, I had a lot of problems with it. And I uh, confronted a lot of my own stereotypes, my own judgment, and concerns doing it because I had to be honest. I had to be this woman who believed what she believed. So you became the actress and the actress reflected you and you were able to give 100 percent. Yeah, I think. And it probably touched some deep p part of you and explored uh, Jewishness, femininity, challenge, adversity, um, you know, rupture within communities and so on. Diane, I'm so delighted to have you here. I'm big fan and really it's it's really wonderful to be able to talk to you thank today. you thank Appreciate you it's a it. pleasure yeah thanks and thanks for the snacks anytime <laughs>